if you have a YouTube channel, I'm gonna tell you eight things you should never do. And we're starting right now. This is how we do. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. The very first thing that you should never do, if you're experienced, you probably know this already, but if you're new, you should never sub for sub. And the reason for that is not only is it just something that people think is sleazy and people don't like and they think it's lame and they'll think you're lame for doing it, but according to YouTube, that is repetitive and unwanted comments, which makes it fall into the spam category, which can make your channel get deleted from YouTube, which is something that you really do not want. And it doesn't matter what language you use. It doesn't matter if you're saying sub for sub or it doesn't matter if you're saying check me out or let's support each other. Whatever crafty way that you're trying to think that, hey, you know, people aren't going to catch on to what's going on here. Only the new YouTubers are going to know. Everybody knows. So just don't do that, okay? Next up is to reply to a bunch of comments on another creator's channel, hoping that people will come over to your channel. That's another one that's just kind of sleazy. It's great to be active in the communities, but when it's clear and obvious that you are responding to comments just so people will come over and check out your channel, pretty lame. And anybody's channel that you do that on, they're gonna think the same thing. Being helpful is one thing, trying to be sneaky, that's a whole other thing. So don't do that. The next thing you should never do is wing it and hope it works out. Here's why. Sometimes it works out, but in a lot of cases, if you don't have some type of loose plan put together, if you don't have some type of goal that you're going for, or you don't really know why it is that you're on YouTube really, then you're gonna get caught up in this loop of all kinds of weird and bad decisions because you don't really know what direction it is that you want to go. And because of that, you're gonna just be pulled in all different directions. So having some type of plan is extremely important on YouTube. Another thing that you should never do for the sake of yourself and your own expectations is expect huge results for a low content quality or low effort. And look, I'm not saying that you gotta have the best cameras in the world or anything like that. Like you can just rock it on a mobile phone. Plenty of people do. But what I'm saying is if you're not putting effort into, the, into just lighting your videos, and the sound is horrible and you're expecting, hey, why isn't this working out for me? Because you're expecting all of these big results, but you're not putting that effort into it to make sure that the viewer has a great experience. Well, those expectations will make you wanna quit YouTube and will make people just not respond to you because one, it's a bad experience for them. And two, you're gonna to wanna to quit eventually because you're just not getting those results that you're after because your expectations are way up here, but your content is down here. And if that's your situation right now, like I'm not trashing you, don't get me wrong, but what I'm saying is that, you know, with all this stuff, there's different skills that you have to develop and all of that in the understanding of, you know, hey, this is how I like my videos or this is how I get good audio and things like that. That's just stuff that you have to develop over time. Another thing that I see a lot of content creators doing in terms of the expectations is people will literally quit their job so that they can go full-time on YouTube, but the content that they're putting out does not support a full-time YouTube career, if that's what you wanna call it. So before you make a leap like that, and don't get me wrong, I love to see people just going for it, but before you make a leap like that, make sure that you at least have a really good understanding in terms of how to put content together that people respond to so that you can get some results here on YouTube. Because starting and not knowing anything about the platform or how to make content or any of that stuff, you're really setting yourself up for failure. So before you make a big jump like that, make sure you develop those skills and have those skills together first so that you can make the right choice. And with that said, don't let me suck the wind out of your sails. I mean, maybe you can do it, but I'm just saying that with the people that I've seen try to do that, it just hasn't worked out. I'm sure there's exceptions, but with those exceptions, I guarantee you the people that came in already had some skills in place and some understandings in place in terms of how things work in order to make that work out for them. The next thing that you should never do on YouTube, regardless of how big your channel is, is assume that you know everything. Because YouTube is a constantly evolving thing. Our content is constantly evolving. Viewer expectations are constantly evolving. And because of that, there are things that are like, hey, this is what's working right now but you might watch a video from five years ago and that stuff doesn't even apply anymore, but you're saying, hey, that's what this person said, so I'm just gonna apply it now, but it's not even relevant anymore. So a really good practice that you wanna get into is you wanna look at all of the stuff that you're doing constantly as, I know these particular things work according to my stats, these particular things work right now. So I'm gonna to continue to keep doing these until I start to see a drop. When I start to see a drop, I'm gonna to try to figure out why 
because I'm gonna use my stats for that. And then once I figure out why, then I'm gonna adjust as needed. And then I'm gonna keep moving forward and try to get those results back up. But it's a really good idea to assume when it comes to your own content that you just don't know anything. And by doing that, you're constantly trying to improve. You're constantly trying to learn more. You're constantly just educating yourself on all of this stuff. And that will make you better at it. The next one is that you should never under any circumstance, try to be another YouTuber. Yes, be inspired by another content creator. Take some ideas here and there from different people and make them your own kind of, but don't ever try to be another content creator because when people see that, people know, hey, this person's trying to be this person and then you are immediately discredited. The best thing that you can possibly do is to be you. So do that and do it well. Another thing that you should never do is to just put up whatever content that you wanna put up. I mean, well, at least you should never do that if you're trying to get results here on YouTube, which I'm guessing you are because you're watching my videos. But focusing your content is extremely valuable because you start to serve an audience of people instead of just making whatever it is that you want for whoever, you're really focused in and you become a resource for a certain group of people. And that by itself, can be extremely beneficial for you. But if you just throw up whatever you want, hey, today I'm making a cake video, tomorrow I'm making a video on fashion, the following day I'm gonna make a video on just general beauty, then I'm gonna make some camera tips. Well, what you're doing is you're diluting everything by doing that. So just focus on the type of content that you wanna make. And if you want to get results on YouTube, but you also wanna have that creative outlet, in that particular case, have one channel to where you're focusing you know, for that particular audience, and then have another channel that is nothing but your expression channel to where you just do whatever it is you wanna do. And then you can start comparing the two against each other and see what I mean when I tell you that. The next thing you should never do as a YouTuber is to target negativity. Now, I know there's some channels that are like doing great because they just focus on negative stuff, negative stuff about pop culture, negative stuff about politics and religion and all this negative stuff about YouTube or whatever. But when you focus on that type of content, what happens is you're actually polluting your own brain, which is not cool at all. Because if you're polluting your own brain with all this negativity all the time, well, you're going to start to see the world in a different way. So one, you're doing that to yourself. Two, you're doing that to the other people that are watching your content. Because let's say that your video gets served to somebody and they normally don't think that way, but for whatever reason, they attach to you and the way that you make your content. Well, what's gonna happen is you're gonna start changing their worldview because you're negging them out all the time. And in my opinion, that's just not a cool thing to do. I mean, of course, do what you like, but I just personally recommend that you don't do that just because it's just, it's just not cool. The world doesn't need that kind of stuff. The same thing applies to using excessive language for the sake of using excessive language because you think people will respond to it. You can actually hurt the video performance if you use excessive language in your videos. So keep that in mind as well. Another thing that you shouldn't do is make all this hard on yourself. There's tools and apps and all this different stuff that you can use to make all of this so much easier on you. I'll actually put a link to a video right up here of tools and resources that I recommend for YouTubers. Definitely make sure that you check out that video so you can make all this stuff easy on yourself. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.